So the mystery this week, will this video end with me on a plane to Maui? Hi, welcome back to my channel. There is so much going on this week. I'm out here right now walking Scout. Uh, I'll start off with that today is Wednesday, November 18th, and if you can tell, the sun's really bright. I'm wearing my mini ears and my Mickey earrings. Today is Mickey and Minnie's birthday, uh, the uh, release many years ago of Steamboat Willie, so happy birthday to them. So as you saw in that first little clip, um, we have plans this Saturday to fly out to Maui was supposed to be our spring break trip but of course that did not happen so we back in September decided to try to do this trip for Thanksgiving and uh, Hawaii uh, about a month ago started a program to where if you have negative COVID tests you don't have to quarantine for two weeks once you get to Hawaii so this afternoon my family and I will be going to get a COVID test uh, and you can bet that I will be back on here and let you know how that goes. So as I mentioned, today is Wednesday. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I had two fairly good runs, but starting today, I am taking a break. I have this chronic foot thing that I've been dealing with for as long as I can remember um, on my right foot. And uh, you will never see any images of my feet on any of these videos because I think I have the world's ugliest feet. But I'll insert in a drawing picture here of what I, what I have going on with my right foot. I'm on my third round of anti-inflammatories for it. And that be and icing is not really doing anything for the pain, so the next step is just to stop running completely for at least a few days. I would really like to be able to run in Hawaii if we get to go, so I'm going to take a break from running between now and then. Um, we do have a gym, so I'm going to go and see if I can do some biking or get on the elliptical, just low impact or no impact, um, to take some of the stress off of that foot and see if we can get the pain under control. So I will keep you updated on that. It is annoying when you want to run and you can't. in Hawaii. Next week, uh, just so happens to be while we're traveling, will be the first week of my 5k training plan that I'm using to lead up to uh, my princess uh, virtual 5k. And I decided, I, you know, running a 5k is, is not a new thing, but I like to um, challenge myself a little bit and something that I've only ever been able to do a couple times is run a sub 30 5k and I have a training plan that I use it's from womensrunning.com they have a magazine too but the plans from their website and it's a great plan um, it, it, it does challenge me so I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, using that I'll insert a picture of the plan here uh, but week one starts next week um, and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult uh, trying to train for something while you're on vacation but I'll try to try to get in as many runs as I can while I'm while I'm there okay well I guess that's all the updating I have for right now um, see you in a few seconds in video time to uh, let you know about how that COVID test is gonna go I've heard it's not that bad from some people and bad for others so we will we will see how that goes are you a sun puppy? You're a solar puppy, that's what you are. You're a solar puppy. Thank you for choosing McDonald's. What can I get for you? Hi, can I get the six piece chicken nugget happy meal? You sure can. So I'm totally that adult that gets happy meals when there's a cool toy and they've just re started releasing the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Ra Wow, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway Toys. So we're gonna see which one I got. Let's see. 
sorry if this is shaky. I thought I brought my asthma pocket and I didn't. Oh, they lied. Not Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Still the marvel. What a disappointment. All right, so I'm getting gas now. We just got our COVID test and it it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It does, it does sting a little, um, but it wasn't as bad. So now we just cross our fingers and by Friday we should know. Okay, Thursday morning. I'm gonna try out this whole elliptical thing. Do you want to go for a car ride? Do you want to go for a car ride to McDonald's? See if we can actually get the correct Happy Meal toy? Let's go. Let's go, come on. All right, taking a car ride into town. We run a few errands and see if we can get the proper Happy Meal toy. Uh, but an update on the elliptical, I don't think my watch was reading my heart rate correctly because I felt like I was getting a little bit of workout, but the heart rate was saying that I wasn't getting a workout at all. So we're going to try again tomorrow. But uh, on to our next thing, going into town, getting the Happy Meal. Okay, so I actually asked this time and they told me that I do have a Mickey and Minnie's toy in here. So let's see. What it is. And I asked for double apples, because I love apples. Oh, it is, yay! Okay, let's see, what, what did I get? It is, oh, it is Space Mountain Mickey. Space Mountain Mickey. I don't know if I can open it with one hand. Probably not. Let me show it on here. Space Mountain Mickey. All right. My goal is to get all of them, and you better believe I'll be hitting up the McDonald's at the airport if we end up flying. Also, it was not just about going to McDonald's. Um, earlier in this video, you heard me talking about my foot thing I have going on. So I went into the Walgreens in town to see if they had toe spacers to see if I can uh, space out my toes, get some of the pain, um, relief of the pain off of the side of my foot there. So I'll get back with you see if these actually work. I don't know how they would work with running, if it's gonna rub and create blisters, but we'll see. Well, it's Friday. Um, it's just about 11 o'clock now. And this morning I did go back to the gym, tried the elliptical again, and thank goodness this time my watch seemed to be reading my heart rate properly. And I think that if I needed to use the elliptical instead of running for a little while, I could still maintain my cardiovascular endurance. That's what I'm most worried about when it comes to injury. Um, I did have my toe spacers and I wore them around just walking around yesterday and wore it um, on the elliptical, which you don't really obviously move your feet, don't really leave a surface too much. but. Yesterday I thought that maybe that this might be a solution, or at least a temporary solution um, for the pain, but this morning the toe spacer didn't really seem to be doing too much to take the pressure off of that nerve, so made an appointment to see my foot doctor for when we get back from this trip that we are hopefully taking, and the worst case scenario is that I'll have to have surgery way sooner than anticipated, but hopefully he'll have some ideas that we can try before that. Um, but overall, the elliptical should be able to work as long as I can get my watch to read the exercise correctly. So as I alluded to, it's Friday about lunch. Our flight is supposed to leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and I still do not have test results for the family. So it's it's very, uh, makes me a little bit nervous not knowing I could be doing all this packing right now and not actually be going anywhere tomorrow. So fingers crossed that those come back in the next couple of hours so we just still will know. I'm not good with the whole not knowing thing. Um, I did want to share to close out this video for the week I wanted to share a song uh, that I had never heard before that one of our church members sang this last Sunday. It was a song called Into the Sea by Tasha Layton and I really I loved the lyrics because 
it just kind of reminded me of what I've been feeling through this whole year of 2020. So I wanted to share them. And I would sing, uh, but I'm thinking based on past videos that even if I sang it with no music that I would get copyright stricken. So I'm just gonna read them. My heart is breaking in a way I never thought it could. My mind is racing with the question, are you still good? Can you make something from the wreckage? Would you take this heart and make it whole again? I've blamed myself, and if I'm honest, maybe I've blamed you too. But you would not forsake me, because only good things come from you. Though the mountains may be, may be moved into the sea, though the ground beneath might crumble and give way, I can hear my father singing over me, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. And the tag at the end is, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay. And I downloaded that song immediately to my phone when we got home from church that day because that's what I felt sometimes this year with all the social unrest and coronavirus and as I'm sitting here doing this clip still really not knowing who won the election and just this year has just been crazy how many things have happened in just one year um, but I try to hang on to a hope that he he knows what's going on. I mentioned in a, in a previous video that nothing ever takes him by surprise. And I have to believe that everything will work for his good and his glory. And that he looks out for me too, as well as he looks out for everybody. Um, so I, I hang on to that hope. And it's I definitely am not perfect. I'll have moments where I still have a little bit of doubt, like, where is this going? Why is this happening? Um, we'll see. There's a, a big, I like to think of it as a big tapestry, and I'm only seeing a little thread in this, this bigger, bigger picture, bigger tapestry, so. Um, you'll see here in the next, in the, in video seconds from now, you will see if we actually are able to get on a plane to Maui, so until then. Like, comment, subscribe, and always remember that you are his masterpiece. And I'll see you in the next one.